Hey you guys, what's up? It's me here, Talia Flores, with another video. And before we get into this video, please like, share, and subscribe if you're brand new. And if you're brand new, welcome to my channel. My name's Talia Flores, and on this channel, I talk about everything and anything cerebral palsy related. So for today's video, I wanted to do something a little bit more special. I wanted to talk about a site that has been very close and dear to my heart for a very long time now and you guys don't have to guess because it's written on my shirt the mighty the mighty and a lot of you guys know i'm a contributor for that site i've been a contributor for that site for four years now incredible journey how it all started and this goes back way to my uh way to my sophomore year in high school way before i knew the mighty even existed my english teacher at the time she gave the class an assignment to write an essay about ourselves but she allowed us to pick from three different subjects three different topics sorry about that and she and because i was doing florida virtual school at the time so at the time we're doing the live lesson she goes tylea i'm not going to tell you what to pick but I think you would be good at this article. My challenges and obstacles. And how you overcame those with cerebral palsy. She goes, I mean, you're already an author. Because I was. James Tick and Time Bomb had been out for a few months. Uh, I was not into advocacy yet. But I was getting to that point. So she goes, write about your life. And I go, okay, I write the essay, get an A plus on it, made her cry. And, um, and, um, I uh, published it to one of my old, my old, um, poetry sites. Um, so I didn't think nothing of it until one day I was on Facebook. I was just getting into the cerebral palsy community in a sense like i was just getting into that like stomping on tp haven't even gotten its name yet my page was just talia flores at the time yeah that that's to tell you i gotta tell you the story how i came up with stomping on tp one day and um everybody all the advocates were talking about this site called the mighty sharice hogan at the time heaven ramsey etc etc so I'm like, what is this site called The Mighty? Like, what is this? I go, okay, I'll make an account. And I'm like, what What should I submit? Because I hadn't really been big on writing about my disability like I am now. Oh my gosh. Shocker. And then it occurred to me to go through my archives and go to my old site. That totally looks like a jacked up paid uh, Wix site, mind you. And I find the article. I copy and paste the article. I submit the article to the mighty. A few days later, I get, a I get an email saying, we're publishing your story. I said, holy cow, this is so cool. I'm going to be on this site called the mighty. Like, this is great. And, um, at the time, at the time, I was like, okay, this is cool. This is my first contributing site. Like, this is, like, awesome. So then, it gets published. People are happy for me. Didn't think nothing of it. Come February of 20, I think, 2018. Uh, did an article on dating. That was my second article published on The Mighty. Uh, didn't think nothing of it. Did a third article, What My Scars Mean to Me, didn't think nothing of it. Did a movie on how Disney movies relate to my life, didn't think nothing of it. I get, and then eventually I got invited to the Mighty's um, Voices group on Facebook, which is for contributors that have a certain amount of articles. So I go there and I get my... 
my my mighty shirt which this was the first mighty shirt that i ever got in the mail so i get this shirt and i i'm happy i'm connecting with people and you know i just felt like with the mighty i was at home and you know for some reason i could tell if I'm comfortable in sites, but with the mighty, I just felt like this was my calling. This was my, this was my place to be at this time in my life. And it was, it was home. It was comfortable. You can talk to everyone about anything. No one's going to judge you. Just nobody. It was like familia. Then, then March comes along. I get I did an article on Speechless, the show in its last season before it got canceled. Unfortunately, thank you, ABC. Um, yeah, I threw shade at ABC. And um, from there, I continued to write more. And then come summertime, I get asked to be a community leader. And summertime of July this last year. And... I couldn't have been more honored to accept the opportunity. You know, it, it it's amazing what the Mighty has done for me, my family, and most of all, it allowed me to have memories with my great-grandmother um, before she passed away. She... I, I would tell her about the mighty a lot and I would read her the stories on there and oh god I don't want to get emotional on this video but yeah it brought us closer together because my great grandma she had a stroke and it caused her not to walk anymore and then like it the mighty just basically brought us closer together and my writing brought her and I closer together so I'm always going to be thankful for the mighty for that as well. And the mighty has also changed the way my uncle saw his autism recently. You know, my uncle, um, I recently, well, it wasn't recent. I think it was back in, did it, I think it was back in February that I wrote an article about my uncle that has autism and at the time he didn't know that he had autism he just knew something was different so, so i write this article and i'm going holy cow i didn't ask grandma if i could send this to the mighty to be published two days later bada boom bada bam it gets published share it on my facebook Get a phone call from my grandma. I'm like, oh God. And she's like, hello. I'm like, hi grandma. Thank you so much for that article. I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, I just explained to your uncle X, Y, and Z, and he's okay with it. And he's actually thrilled that you remembered all the things he did as a kid because he didn't remember he did all those crazy things so yeah I have to thank the mighty for that too because if it weren't for that platform and that whole and the whole staff and Mike Porch creating that plat the platform like he has I don't think I would have been able to write that article and it's best entirety um yeah so back to what i was saying so yeah the mighty has opened a lot of great doors for me it has given me a lot of opportunity and every day that i log on to the mighty it's a sense of happiness joy like it doesn't it doesn't necessarily really matter if i'm having a bad day i could just go on my mighty app on my phone and be like oh let me see what's published today or let me see what the rest of the community is doing or let me give out a helping hand or let me try to make someone's day because 
we all need to give somebody a smile every now and then, right? So that's what the mighty, the mighty, oh my gosh. There's no, there's no words to describe how amazing the experience has truly been for me. And it's given me an outlet to cope with my disability without feeling like I'm alone or I'm going to be judged for feeling this way or be looked at as over dramatic. You know, because a lot of the times that happened and, you know, people don't understand, you know, a lot of people in society don't understand what people go through. But when I log on to the mighty, I'm like, ah, oh, my people, my friends, you understand what I'm going through. So I I have to say thank you to everyone at the mighty from the tech team to the contributors, to the staff. I know I would shout all you guys out, but there's too many of you guys to name. But just know that every single day that I wake up and I log on, or we do we do distract me hours, or we, ha we have a fun time and we do check in with me newsletters. Just know that I always wake up with a smile. Just knowing that we're all mighty together and we're all part of a community that loves and cares for people just like us that are going through the same struggles as other people but may not know how to express that. It feels so good to know that I could be a part of a community where I get to help others and we all get to help others and be the voices for those who can't. Because as advocates, regardless if you're a part of a, a site or anything, but as advocates, that's our duty. And the mighty has opened doors for me and many other people to do that duty. And I'm forever grateful for, for them. And what they've done for me, what they've done for my life, my heart, my family, and the mighty staff and the people, the people that are involved in it will always be a part of my life. I mean, in my documentary, when I'm a best-selling author, <laughs> um, you know, you guys are going to be mentioned in the, my interviews and you guys, hopefully you guys will get to be a part of it. And hopefully one day I get to be a part of the mighty staff and what you guys do. Because honestly, I strongly believe in your message, message and what you tell people. We're all in this together. Together we're mighty strong. And that's what people in the disability community need to remember. And, and the mental health community and et cetera, et cetera. Even if you don't have a disability and you and you have something else, and you want to write about it, go to the Mighty. The Mighty has helped me in a lot of ways. You know, I've, I've said it in several articles, several interviews, the Mighty uh, changed my life and the way I look at things as a person with a disability now. You know, before the Mighty came along, Long, there was never really a site that resonated with me that I can go on and I could be like, hey guys, what's up? This is me. This is Tylea. This is my story. I'm sticking to it. You know, um, but when I found the mighty, I felt like I could finally do it and not be ashamed of my, my story. You know, like I was hiding hiding behind a mask, not fully wanting to accept ex my disability. And for that too, I think the mighty, you know, there's a lot of things that I can thank the mighty for. Like you guys giving me some of the greatest memories, some of the greatest friends. Um, Kelly Douglas, Megan Gosling, uh, in particularly, so. I love you guys, and you guys will always be close and dear to me, over and out.
And I just want to say, if you guys haven't logged on to the Mighty and checked it out, please do. They have plenty of good resources that could help you support love and guidance. And most of all, they'll give you the reminder to keep going. So, anyway, you guys, this is Talia Flores here, over and out.